Well, hey there, everybody. Matt Kluskowski here. This time around, we're going to take a look at how to create and add your own signature to a photo. Uh, this all came about. I'll give you a 10 second backstory. Uh, I did a post on mattk.com about a new way to add a signature to photos with this company I found called Photo Logo. They make these really cool signatures. So we're going to take a look. I got a lot of feedback on that one asking how, how you would you even create your own signature and add it to a photo. Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to do that in Photoshop. I'm going to ask you a big favor. If you like my videos, I've been doing a lot more on uh, YouTube lately. If you like my videos, do me a favor and just click here and subscribe. Um, that way, it, you know, you don't have to go to my blog to find this stuff. It gets put right into your YouTube stream. I don't have to send out emails. If you like this kind of content, this way you won't miss anything because it'll get delivered right to you. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, so let's, uh, let's pretend we're starting from scratch. We open up a blank document. What I would say is if you want to make your own signature, um, open up a blank document. You'll have a, a white background layer. Just click the new layer icon. And that's pretty important because you want to make sure you put it onto uh, a separate layer here. Hit B to go to your brush tool. Really small size brush, you know, three, three to five pixels max. And uh, here's the important part. You want to crank up that hardness setting to 100%. You don't want a soft edged brush for this. So you want a very hard edge brush. So three to five pixels for the brush size. Um, and go ahead and just, uh, and then crank up that hardness setting. Now, I, I'm going to show you if you don't have a, a Wacom pen and tablet. It's W-A-C-O-M. They have these pen tablet stylus things. Um, or if you don't have a stylus of any sort. Because I know most people don't. Um, if you try this with your, your, your mouse, it's... It gets, <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm trying to do mine. And uh, it, it's kind of weird with your mouse. So just keep at it. Maybe my suggestion would be kind of take one section of your signature at a time. Um, it does get a little bit, a little bit clunky if you're doing it with your mouse. If you have a pen and tablet, um, then you just sign away. It looks something like that, probably like your real signature. All right. So, uh, so what you'll have at the end of that, I'm going to delete that layer is you'll have your signature on a blank layer. And that's really important because from, from this point, I would save this as a PSD file, but from this point, adding it to an image is really simple. All you do is turn off the, and this is important too. turn off the eyeball icon for the background layer, choose select all and choose copy. It's better if you use the keyboard shortcuts for all this stuff. Then go over to a photo and then just press Command or Control V and paste it in. All right. And what that does is you can see here, there's my uh, there's my my little signature kind of down there at the bottom. If I bring it over a bright area, you'll see it over there at the top. So you can move this around. It's transparent. It's transparent because we hid that background layer. All right. We hid that white background layer. So you're not going to see the background. You're just seeing the transparency. So that works out great. Little tip for you is that if you if you bring it in and it's black and you want to put it down here and it kind of gets hidden, press Command or Control I for invert. And that flips black to white. So basically flips everything. It flips anything that's black makes it white, flips anything that's white makes it black. And now you've got the logo or the signature in white and you can drag that around anywhere you want. All right. Now, uh, a couple other things. Sometimes for some reasons, just depending on how you save this and what you save it, if you made a mistake and saved it as a JPEG, what you'll probably have is what I see here. So again, what we'll do is uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, I'm just going to copy this whole entire image here, the, the background and everything. And I'll go ahead and paste it in onto uh, my photo over here. And now you're going to see it comes with that black or that white background there with the black signature. A real quick, easy way to hide that white background is just change your blend mode from normal to multiply. And multiply will hide the white background so it makes it transparent so you can drop it uh, and put it anywhere that you want inside your photo. Okay, so same thing as before, uh, just change that blend mode to multiply. Now, finally, if you did use the photo logo that I showed you before, uh, here's an example of what mine looks like. I was super happy with it because as you saw from before, I hate my signature. Um, it's, I, I can't stand it. And I never would have thought to get rid of the, the first name and just kind of use the initials there. Uh, really, really happy for it. So what they do is, is they deliver you um, PNG files, which are transparent. And they deliver you black ones, they, you know, large, small, and then a white one, large, and then small. So you don't really even have to worry about creating anything on your own. You just open it up inside of Photoshop. Uh, again, select all, 
go to edit, go to copy, drop it over onto your photo. Let me hide those other ones. Drop it in now, it's gonna be way too big. Uh, best thing you can do is hit Command or Control T for free transform. And, uh, and I can go in here and just kind of resize it and make it whatever size that I want. They do give you a white version. You can use the same keyboard shortcut I used before, Command or Control I, which automatically flips it to white. So you don't have to go up, open the white version. If it didn't work for your photo in black, you don't have to close it and open up another one. Just hit Command or Control I and, uh, and that'll flip it over to black or, the, or white, whatever the opposite color was. And then finally, they do give you an Illustrator file, which is the vector version. You can make that. If you're familiar with Illustrator, you can take that in and, uh, and make it as big as you want. Okay, guys, thanks so much for uh, for stopping by. Uh, I, was, I was very surprised to see how into the whole signature logo thing people were. So I think it's cool. Uh, definitely adds a unique flair to your photos. And, uh, and this hopefully this video kind of helps you out in using them.